on this side of the table. But we've heard comments made about the, um, uh, the sequester. We've had two, two votes on sequester. We're trying to avoid the sequester, but we can't get the other side of the aisle to support us on that. Or they'll say they, 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 they're concerned about it, but we've given them the votes and they don't take them. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm concerned about it. Uh, I'm concerned about where we're, where we're going to go with this. I, 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 I listened to that initial polling. I thought it was a very good question that the chairman came up with, and it was just show hands, and certainly it wasn't scientific. But when he mentioned tax code and regulations, that's more than all the other combined, the issues that were raised. Tax code and regulation. But yet we can't get the people on certain areas of, of our Congress to accept that. They think it's more of what we've been doing for the last four years in Congress, more regulation, more government intrusion, more taxes, higher energy costs. Is that the direction? Is that what you're telling us now? I, I'd like to make sure we're going in there. Do, should we be going in that? Do you really think the last four years is the best direction we could go if we're going to make manufacturing all that it can be where we have American exceptionalism again in our manufacturing? Is this the direction we should continue? Or when, what would you suggest to wake up members of Congress to understand what it's like to see a demise and struggle within the manufacturing business? Can you give us some direction on where you might, where you might give it to us? I, I heard you say tax code and regulations, but EPA and OSHA, regulatory, tax policy, Obamacare, I've heard how that's affecting businesses all over, the sequestration, R&D, energy costs, what, what should we be doing? Not just sweet talk, but actual, what can we do? What should we do if we're going to reverse manufacturing the demise? Can, you, can a few of you give you some, some good examples? Well, Don't thank you for the question. Once, yeah. um, you ask what Congress should do, and honestly, for our industry, the regulations and taxing, health care, everything that we see coming down the pipeline is becoming more burdensome. What you could do is stop. Thank you. You could stop. That would allow us to be the manufacturing uh, engine that drives this country. But why don't you think that people are hearing that? It's so basic. Get government off our backs. Free up that. I hear it time and time again. Manufacturers will get back if we just backed off. The, go the Congress doesn't seem to want to back off. It thinks it's going in the right direction by becoming more intrusive in your workplace. How do you do it? Why, why, what are we missing here? Why aren't people listening to you? Well, basically, we have been vocal for years. And why that has not reached Congress uh, is, is beyond us. But I think when you look at the jobs lost and how our entire manufacturing sector continues to struggle, you know, when is it going to be too late when we're all out of business? Um, so I appreciate the opportunity to be here and express our issues of not only my company, but our industry and manufacturers in general. Thank you. Any others in the time remaining? Yes, sir. The, uh, it, it's not so much the regulation as it is the unknown uh, Congressman Waxman talked about. Uh, you know, gridlock and, and arguing from both sides is, is a necessary part of the government process. We need that. But when something is enacted, get to it then on specifically what we've got to do about that. We've, we've had the Ob Obamacare for two years now. The only thing I've seen out of that, we provide uh, uh, hospitalization for our employees. <laughs> our insurance cost has went up 20 percent a year for the last two years. And yet, it's not even enacted yet. But the anticipation of that, the unknown, the insurance companies have had to respond that way. So what, what we need is, is swift action. I, I talked for a second about the dredging of the uh, uh, entrance to the, to the channel in Brunswick. The Corps of Engineers has been working on that for four years. They don't get the allocation of the money to be able to do that completely at one time. So it, it's piecemealed, and it fills right back in. Uh, we're, we're in a world where we have to respond to market conditions immediately, and, and government's not responding as quickly. Thank you. Yeah, thank, you. thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Johnson from Ohio, you're recognized for five minutes. 
Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh...